you know, your, your dad didn't call the show, your mom called the show. Let's bring out your mom, Amy. get off the drugs. <laughs> so that is hope. You have hope that you can be a mom again. Look. I save everything for you. So you don't miss nothing of what they did when they grew up. I have this for you too. That's your coin that you got when you went to, to rehab. I want my daughter back. <laughs> the kids, the kids what, want their mom back. What is what is that? They were photo albums of the babies since they've been growing up. Of her children. Mm -hmm. And her, they give them birth to them. When you look at these pictures, what are you thinking? They're my world, and I want it back. And you want them back. Are you willing to do anything to get them back? Yeah. Are you ready to go into rehab? Yes. And no, every person here, every person is going to be rooting for you. Every person. Uh, the co-founder of the Park Bench Group, who is going to take you and get you into rehab, who hopefully is going to be instrumental and in turning your life around. Robin Barnett's here, let's bring her up. Hey, Robin. Thank you for being here. Um, a hard show to do, uh, we've done this many times, but it, it's never easy doing this type of show. Uh, a young lady who has her whole life ahead of her, if she can beat this addiction. Um, why don't you explain to her what's going to happen now. Absolutely. First, I wanted to say thank you for, for having us here, and we're so excited to start a new partnership with the Steve Wilco Show you. and Park Bench. And let me tell you about what we're going to do for you. Park Bench is a very special place where there's a fabulous staff of trained therapists and psychiatrists and doctors who will help you not only through your detox, but get you through the next month of your life and teach you how to live clean and sober, not just get sober. Steve and his staff and the staff at Park Bench went through so much to get you here and to be able to give this to you, and it's a gift. It is, it's an amazing This is gonna be the biggest challenge of your life. But only thing that's going to make it work is you. Are you ready to go? Yes. You're going to walk off the stage and you're going, you're going with her and you're going straight to rehab. You're ready. Yes. Good luck. Detox was painful, it was long, uh, I vomited on myself, it was disgusting. I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> Allison was pretty sick. She had a tough time through a detox, but she, she stuck with it. 
After I got through detox, I started feeling better. I actually was able to start participating in group and actually really working on my recovery. She was happy to be here. She was warm. She was receptive. She was helpful to other people. I've been in rehabilitation for 45 days. This is the longest I've been in, in a rehabilitation program. The numbers um, regarding relapse rates are unfortunately very high. This is my last day of drug rehab, and I'm so excited to get back home into living my life. I think that her treatment here was very successful. I think that she definitely needs more work. Uh, we extended her stay. We, we gave her an extra two weeks here uh, because we really felt that she, she needed the extra time. She was dealing with some pretty difficult issues in her life. I feel a lot stronger and a lot more confident in myself. I've learned a lot of coping skills, such as talking with peers and my counselors. In the past, the only coping technique I had for my emotions was to pick up drugs. Now, I can actually sit with them and deal with them. She's going to need additional follow-up when she goes home. I plan on living with my dad temporarily until I can get into a transitional house, which is a sobriety house. She's going to need to find a new place to live. Going back into the same environment is not gonna be a good thing for her. I'm a little nervous just because of the triggers, but I'm not nervous to be used around because I don't expect it to happen because I know my dad loves me and he's not gonna use around me. If Allison goes back home, her chances of relapsing are very high. Her father is still using. He has not stopped. Putting an addict in early recovery around other people that are in active addiction will activate Allison's addiction. And the ability to fight that is, is really difficult. My dad misses me as much as I miss him. And uh, he feels that I'm ready. Both Park Bench and the Steve Wilco show agreed that Allison should stay in treatment longer. Uh, at this point, it's Allison's decision that she feels she's ready to go home. I have been offered a longer period of time here, but I feel that I have progressed to the point that I've learned all I can learn at this point. I really miss my kids and my family. I have wanted most to be a mother to my children. She's a really sweet girl and very thankful for what she's been given. And I really hope that she takes that gift and uses it to help her stay clean and sober and applies it to her life and takes our recommendations. I love all the staff here and my peers. Um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. I want to thank Steve and everyone at the show for making me what I am today.